Hi friends, awesome that you've tuned in. My name is Ellen and this is Infusers for Life. Today, we're gonna to talk about a very special watch. A watch that I really love and adore and that is this beauty here on my wrist. 36 millimeter in diameter without the crown. It does build up minimalistic, <laughs> but it's a beautiful watch, even though I have a 175 millimeter in wrist uh, circumference size, I still think it is matching. And what can I say? This is a time witness, guys. When you think about the fact that this watch has built from 78, I mean, you know, the contracts have been signed at IWC to survive the quartz crisis. And uh, things were really getting out of hand. And those, those brands, they really started to think about what will happen in the future, started to make plans, really settle that horse, quartz. And the outcome is beautiful, guys. We have here an incredible, an incredible titanium watch. A beautiful titanium watch, quartz power. That's basically the first mega quartz ever invented in our horological world and uh, produced by Jeje Le Coutre. It's the original caliber 630, a very cool watch. But back in the days, something very special. I know nowadays you can find those iterations of those movements uh, in Yema watches and some micro brands. But back in the days, this was the freaking Shiznit. And what I really like about the watch, when you check out the watch from the outside, it's its futuristic design. Interestingly, the hidden chrono pushers in the case. And I think this is something very, very interesting. And I've never seen that before on any brand. So I think it's a marvelous design. It's, it's kind of an architect took the design of a certain beautiful building, a little bit futuristic, took that and put into the design of this watch. And when, when, you, when, you, when you check out the watch, for example, and try to get a glimpse of the dial, you, you see, as for me, I see here racing, I see here technology, I see here know-how. I see here, we would like to be the first. Like like Porsche always was competing with BMW and then M3 E92 on the Nürburgring, same with 911 on the Nürburgring, and then started like Nissan GTR wanted to beat that 911 uh, track times. And they did, they really did. And that's the competition that this watch is continuously continuously showing, representing, and I'm saying it does that very, very, very well. I mean, some iteration of that watch are that proud to be out of titanium. They're even having that somewhere written on the first links of the watch. And some, I mean, tell me, how desperate, how desperate a manufacturer can be to say, you know what, hard times, we're gonna put the Porsche design logo where our logo belongs in the center and we move far left. So I think a time witness that has never seen before is here in that watch. And I think when, when, you, when, you, when you're out in the market or even not, even not, even if you're not out in the market for that watch, I am highly recommending you to get yourself such a 36 millimeter Mecca Quartz Jeje Le Coutre um, 630 powered watch, just to have it, just to feel that, or should I say, feel nothing, feel nothing on your wrist, but have a really representing watch. That is, that is basically my, my take on that watch cool looking, super slim, designed, very well built. Of course, we're talking about Porsche design and IWC. There's no question about it. 
beautiful time machine. Like Max Busser always loves to do something very interesting, unique and stunning. Back in the days, that watch was that. That watch was for sure that. I do not know if um, I would even go that far and say, if you have your mechanical chronographs, like your Daytona, or let's say you have the IWC Le Petit Prince, why not thinking about putting one of those time witnesses also into the collection. I will think about it. I love it so far. Um, as you guys always know, it's not my watch. I'm just um, fortunate enough to present it, to show it to you in the camera and let you know about my opinion about the watch. But this watch is really cool. I mean, the bracelet, super comfortable futuristic looking like Star Wars-ish kind of way. Um, and it feels like, it feels special. You look at the dial, for my taste, it's a tiny little bit too small, but um, you look at the dial, you see everything. The hands are white. You have that, now it's, <laughs> now it's a little faded red stop second hand, but, um, other than that, it's a beautiful patina that these watches during the time really get achieve. Very, very nice watch. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about the watch. Do you also think if you have a few mechanical chronographs to put that thing also as a time witness and always a reminder what kind of bad times the Swiss watch horology world went through into your collection let me know in the comments below you know i love to talk with you about the subject and of course if you like that video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe i'm gonna see us in the next one love you guys till then bye bye